Motion detection parking mode. How does it work? There's a lot of confusion with how motion detection works on dash cameras. And we've set it up on a bench so we can show you the differences between motion detection and the benefits of using Thinkware's radar parking mode. So many people out there think, I talk to industry professionals that actually even sell dash cameras that tell me that motion detection will work 24 hours. Why would it not? I park my vehicle in my garage and there's no movement, so it's not gonna draw any current. But what people tend to forget is the sensor that needs to pick up the motion needs to stay powered up in order to catch the footage. There's also a lot of buffered recording on Viofo, Thinkware, and a lot of other various brands that are available on the market. And in order for it to buffer that recording and have it seven seconds or 15 seconds before somebody walks into that image, that sensor needs to stay powered up. But what is with all this confusion? Well, needless to say, I think a lot of people think of home security. They see the light outside and when somebody walks up to their house, the light bulb flashes to let you know that there's motion. However, everybody seems to forget that in order for that motion sensor to stay powered up, it's drawing current the whole time. And then what happens is the light bulbs turn on to say, hey, somebody's on my property and it starts recording. But that sensor still needs to stay powered up the entire time in order to know what to record. So anyways, we put it together on a bench, which is gonna follow here. You might find it boring, but what we're trying to do is make sure that you're educated to understand how a true motion detection dash camera works. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see here, we're testing the Thinkware U3000. We're also testing motion detection. So we wanted to show you the difference between motion detection and radar detection parking mode. There's two different modes, and a lot of people think motion detection only draws current when there is movement. So everybody seems to associate it thinking that it draws nothing and it only records when there's movement. So if I don't have anybody walking by my vehicle and I park in my garage, it's not gonna draw any current on my car battery. So we want to show you how that works. So right now we have the Thinkware U3000 in motion detection, and I'm gonna just walk by the unit and you're gonna watch the red light the REC light is going to start blinking rapidly, which means that there's motion detected. See how it starts blinking rapidly? That's because there is motion. And as you can see, the current draw didn't really change much. So it's drawing the same, basically, whether it's recording or just sitting there with the sensor on looking for whether or not there's any motion. But like we said, like you can see right there, it's blinking slowly, and if there's quick movement, they'll start blinking a lot more rapidly, very quickly, the red light. So that's how motion detection works. Parking recording will now start. Okay, so now the dash camera is going into radar parking mode. We logged in, we changed the settings, and it's gonna take about 20 to 30 seconds or so for the current draw to actually settle down which our multimeter doesn't like that and, and uh, wants to time out because we haven't been playing with it for too long. So as you can see there, it takes approximately two to three minutes to go into radar parking mode. And the parking mode has dropped considerably. You know, we are down to 12 to 13 milliamps of current which is way less than the current draw that we were looking at in motion detection. Motion detection was sitting at about 240 milliamps. And when you do the math, it's about 20 times more current draw, which means in this current draw, it will last 20 times longer. So if you were running motion detection, and let's say you can only get maybe three hours on a consistent basis, that means on radar mode, you could probably get up to 60 hours on a consistent basis, depending on where you park. Now, as you can see here, we have 12 to 13 milliamps of current. 
And as soon as I wave my hand in front, or maybe I'll walk in front because I did with the motion detection as well. So I'm going to walk in front and just like that, boom, it shoots up to 234 milliamps. And as you can see, it's recording. And just like that, it's dropped down in current draw again. So I'm going to wave my hand in front. And just like that, it shoots up again in current draw. So if you're parked in your garage and there's no movement in your garage, this dash camera is going to draw very, very low current. While a typical dash camera on the market that only has motion detection will draw way more current. And there's this total misunderstanding out there because people think it's only going to draw that current if there is an impact Sorry, if there's motion in front of the vehicle, that's it. Well, this is proof right here that on motion detection, it's drawing no matter what's going on. And with radar mode, it only draws the high current when there's any motion at all. And as you can see right there, Think We're Connected app, I just made an impact on the table when I was uh, about to take everything apart. And it says, think we're connected. An impact has been detected while parked. And as you can see, the Wi-Fi light is also on. And this is in radar parking mode. So when there's impacts, if you're hooked up to a Wi-Fi or some sort of a hotspot and it finds it and there's an impact, it will notify you. So that's only if you have a hotspot or a Wi-Fi connection nearby that the dash camera has been connected to through the think we're connected app. So now we're going to test the Viofo A229 Pro in auto event detection, which is their equivalent of motion detection. The only reason why we're showing you this is so that people don't think the Thinkware motion detection works differently because they have their radar mode. So I want to show you how it works with a Viofo A229 Pro front camera. And now we're going to simulate putting it into parking mode. Parking recording started. So as you can see, we're in parking recording. It's an auto event detection. And we're going to let it sit for a few minutes just to make sure that it doesn't time out or go to like a lower current draw in a minute or two minutes, similar to how the Thinkware reacted in radar mode. So as you can see, it's been a few minutes here now. And I'm going to walk in front and we're going to watch that now it's recording. You see the red light has actually gone solid red. And if you see the current draw, it popped up just a little bit. But realistically, as you can see, it hasn't dropped down. I hope you learned something from this video. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We're happy to help. But the main thing that I want people to realize is if you are looking to use the motion detection feature on a dash camera and you're looking to use it for longer periods than say one to three hours on a frequent basis, I would recommend strongly on getting a battery pack. That way you're not doing any permanent damage to your vehicle's car battery because a lot of other dash cameras on the market are not actually protecting your battery. They have very low, low battery protection and what I mean by that is they have like 11.4 and 11.6 volts, which we're going to be getting to uh, on a video a little bit later. They also have no timer mode. So I know a few people think that sometimes we're biased on our videos of like, why aren't we carrying certain dash cam brands? Well, the reason why we're not is because they don't have certain set features that we can deliver to our customers. And we're very picky on that. And we're going to be explaining that in a low battery protection video coming up where, where we're going to explain the difference between a lot of the different car batteries. And we've been working on collecting all that information. Thank you for watching our video on motion detection. I hope you learned a lot. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for all your support. And until we meet again.